Hello, friends, and welcome. Welcome to your weekly check-in. Um, we are going to start with a long spine. So find a posture that facilitates your elongated spine. And when we're seated or in an upright posture, of course, we need to put a little bit of effort into that. Buttocks bones down. Very middle of the buttocks bones rooting down. And then just gently letting the spine reach up out of that. And we're gonna take a journey through our other senses. So keep your eyes closed or mostly closed. We'll take vision out of it for the most part. And then bring your awareness into your mouth, your sense of taste. Always harder to discern when we're not eating something. And yet sometimes we can taste the remnants of something we've had or the fact that we have or haven't brushed our teeth. I had coffee, etc. So just check in, no judgment at all. And if you don't notice any taste there at all, there you go. You still practiced. While uh, you're in that mouth, maybe softening the jaw, the tongue, the palate, the root of the tongue, the throat. And bring your awareness into your nose, your sense of smell. And noticing. And again, maybe you don't have anything that you are smelling and then you're noticing that you don't have a scent. Maybe there are scents around you, but you know, you have long-term COVID or whatever that might be, and you're not smelling much allergies, right? Without judgment, non-judgmental experience, and notice that. Bringing your awareness to your sense of sound. This usually starts to get a little bit uh, juicier, I'll call it, just that there's a lot more going on here. You hear my voice and all of the sounds that come from my environment, especially recording outside. Then can you also discern the sounds that are coming from your environment in the room with you? in the building you're in and outside. This is where I tend to start getting judgmental. You know, I love the song, Ah, the lawnmower, you know. I try not to get judgmental. Try to make them simple observations. And bring your awareness into your sense of touch, your felt sense next. And this is, I think, the most complex. That temperature, and that can be very different from one part of your body to the next. Each has their own microclimate. You've got hair touching your skin or cloth from your, whatever you're wearing. You might have pressure from a waistband or something like that. Whatever you're sitting or kneeling upon, laying against whatever it is, right? You've got that feeling of whatever's underneath you also. And it can feel very different, you know, depending on pressure or material. 
it feels different after my buttocks bones than my feet feel right, against the floor. So just again, just taking your time. And even with this work, the mind will get pulled away. <clears throat> and just bring it back to wherever you are. Now I want you to imagine, if you will, that the sky is above you. Nothing separating you in the sky. It's a beautiful blue sky, the vast blue sky. You can imagine that a cloud starts to come into your field of vision and it's blowing on a breeze that blows across the sky and out of your field of vision. Whatever pace works for you. Imagine that again. A cloud comes into your field of vision on one side of your vast blue sky and the breeze goes across and out of your field of vision on the other side. Now you can keep working with that if the mind is I'm really enjoying that and staying steady with that. Otherwise, I want you to imagine that your thoughts are like the clouds. So every time a thought comes in, imagine that it is a cloud and that it is moving across that vast precise. So the thought comes in and it moves on the breeze and it moves. Every time a thought comes in, take a moment and just imagine that vast blue sky, which in this is your mind, and then thought the cloud and let that cloud just float on by. If it's all right for you today, I want you to imagine that you start to dissolve the borders of your skin, your bone, and that you become vast blue sky. There's no separation between us. And just imagine that you're becoming one with the vast blue sky. All borders dissolve. And without actually doing this part, you're just imagining, imagine the corners of your eyes turning up into a swoon corners of your mouth turning up into a smile, and even the corners of your heart. Imagine those three things, eyes, mouth, and heart, all of them turning up your corners into a smile. And if that started to bring out any feeling of lightness, friendliness, maybe remember you take that with you throughout your day. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. And 
Taking a moment of gratitude. Namaste. Thank you, as always, for joining me, friends. May you be well, and may all beings everywhere be well.